Finally tonight from here in Tel Aviv, today was the first Jewish Sabbath since the attacks last week. It's a day of remembrance and of reflection at synagogues here and around the world. We are learning to be strong. Tonight, Jews across Israel and around the world are finding solace in the Sabbath. A day of rest and reflection, now a time to grieve, to lean on faith and search for courage in community. It is a lot of comfort being with friends, trying to find hope in our souls, trying to pray with deep belief, to find comfort. In Tel Aviv, the Beit Daniel Synagogue reopening today. A handful of congregants like Edna Baromi Perlman finding strength in song. I feel that we're sort of like embracing each other with the liturgy and the music and it's like therapeutic for me, totally therapeutic. Her rabbi, Meir Azari's mission is to give support during these unimaginable times. We are grieving uh, in this point. Uh, we lost people. We lost people in our community. But in this point, we have to hear the, the hope hope for victory, and at the same time to rebuild the Israeli society. The peace process, we need the peace. And near Lebanon today, signs of faith in the field. A soldier clutching the Torah amid uncertain days ahead. Will be the joyous heart. Across the globe this Shabbat, hymns. For the we have survived unspeakable trauma. And we will survive this, too. In Washington, D.C., prayers for peace. In a moment where I have this week felt raw um, and fragile with emotion. This is who I wanted to be surrounded by and who I felt could give me strength and the hugs that I needed. To New York City with one of the largest synagogues in the world. I think there's something about coming together and feeling that, you know, there's solidarity and strength and unity. It's very important as an American and as a Jew. This is an important time for all of us as human beings. This is not just about Jewish people. Back here in Israel, these candles, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the light of faith can never be put out. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.